Hi, my name is David Tu, and in this video, we're going to be showing off how to use some more advanced features of a thermal imaging camera. I have here a Agilent 5855A camera, which offers 320 pixels by 240 pixels of resolution at a price that's comparable to something that has only one quarter of that resolution. So in this environment here, I'm in a uh, maintenance room, and we're going to measure a few pumps in the back here, and we're going to show how to uh, take some really good measurements with this thermal imaging camera. So here, we're in this industrial room, and we're measuring a couple of motors here. On the thermal camera, you can see that the top motor is running, and it's a lot warmer than that bottle, bottom thermal uh, motor. So first off thing off, I want to show that the camera view changes if I scroll off. So now it changes the uh, color setting. I don't actually like that for this particular measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my ranging to manual. I'm just going to press this manual button here. Now it's a manual. So I can actually increase the range by uh, pressing uh, to the right of this little knob here. Now you can see that my top and bottom measurements are uh, expanded. And turn that back down. Or I can just change the offset by pressing up and down. So now it's hot versus really cold. But the, if I wanted to, I can just auto range it once by clicking the auto range, getting back to that, uh, uh, that screen. So that's going to allow me to see what I want without a lot of varying uh, changes on my screen. So now that we have our screen set up the way we want it to be, let's go ahead and make some measurements. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press this center enter button and go to that measure menu. I want to uh, turn on my min and max re readings. Go back out. Now you can see in this top screen that I have a maximum of 63 degrees. That's right in the center of that motor, whereas the minimum is kind of varying off to this left-hand side a little bit. So that's going to be 25 degrees. That's going to give me uh, my maximum and minimum readings. However, if I want to actually measure those motors, I can do that by changing my measurement again. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on this movable spot thing. So I'm going to turn on spot one on, and I'm going to move it around. So I'm measuring the bottom motor. So now you see S1 is pointed here at this motor and it's measuring 28.6 degrees. My maximum is still at 63.6. If I wanted to, I could have another spot that would just be measuring that straight up motor, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> but uh, what I also want to show you is this ability to measure a box. So let me turn off my min-max so it's not distracting and I'm going to turn this movable box on, turn it on, and I'm going to resize it. Press enter, oops, press enter. First I'm going to move it, and then I'm going to resize it to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm getting more of that uh, motor. So now I can go to a different uh, box, turn that on, resize it again, or move it first. So I'm measuring this bottom motor over here. Let me resize it so I get more of that motor. And then that's it. So now I have box one, which is this one up here. And box one gives me a maximum reading of 64.4 with a minimum of 26, an average of 47 degrees. And box two is measuring this bottom motor, and that's giving me an average of about 29 with a range of 33 to 26 degrees Celsius. So that's gonna be, that's gonna allow you to take one single shot and make multiple measurements of different things. It's gonna simplify that report a lot. So once I'm able to, uh, to set that up, I can just press the trigger button, save that picture, now that I've taken my picture, I can actually view my picture. And you'll see that the picture was saved as a viewable, visible image uh, with the normal camera mode or the thermal image mode. If I wanted to, 
to make my to make my documentation a little bit easier so I can remember what I was taking a picture of I can actually go back and add a photo tag to it so I can actually take another picture of the settings so I can visually see something a little bit different or maybe I want to take a little bit closer picture and show those motors directly so I'm going to put shoot that with the trigger button and now that picture will be grouped together with my original uh, thermal image. Just another way to help you document your uh, thermal images. Those are just a few advanced functionality techniques to measure your different uh, motors or your HVAC or electrical panels that's going to help you, help you get more insight to your thermal images, get more, see more, all with the thermal imaging camera. Thanks a lot.